Hey, how's it going? It snowed a little bit today. That was a little different. It's been cold. Nice sunset in the background, eh? Oh. I'm up here in the clearing. And look at that, eh? That hurricane was just intense. See the size of this old tree? Look at this. Put my walking my walking stick next to that. Look at the size of that tree, eh? Big old pines. They're all white pine trees in here mostly. See, there's one right there. Another one. There's some of the dead ones are still standing. Oh look, there's a bird up there. That looks like an osprey. See him? Nice, eh? There's an osprey. Pretty cool, man. It's good to see the rope. I didn't see any ospreys like this year yet. This is pretty cool. We're like right next to the big dead tree, eh? Huh. New life begins. New white little little white pine. Up in Quebec, northern Quebec, a bit to be. Park a bit to be. Uh, they're endangered species up there in the in the boreal forest. Gee. Ground sounds hollow. <laughs> but yeah, well, there's another little white pine. Yeah, they're just thriving in here. Look at them all. Another one there, another one there. I wasn't sure if this has been planted or what. Spruce. But yeah, this is all growing back just great. Looks pretty nasty from the trail, but once you get up in here, it looks really nice. Oh, there's four ducks. See them flying past the pine? Oh, there they go. Pretty neat, man. Yeah, I gotta be careful where I put my feet in here. Don't want to break any new trees. Ooh, oh, look at that! A whole bunch of them. This is what I had to whip, whip through when I was uh, doing the silviculture in Quebec. We'd have to cut all these trees out, except for one over here and one over there, so they could grow up and cut them down in the 70 years or 50 years or however long it takes to grow. I know, it doesn't seem right, but that's, that's silviculture. Yeah, I didn't last long at that job. I, no thanks. No thanks. Never got paid enough, for one. And I just, morally, wasn't the job for me. And third, well, my shoulders were really bad, so... Yeah, there's no way I could cut the trees any longer. I had to stop. Man, these are some nice pines in here, man. Look at that. Yeah, the reason why I'm in here is I'm hoping to find where the eagle's nest is. I hear them in here chirping a lot. So, whoa! <laughs> We've got to be careful. I'm trying to walk along the big stump, big logs here. I'm going to try and get up higher here. There we go. Yeah, this big giant pine tree in the back. And way in between those spruce trees, way in the back, there's another big pine couple of them way, way in the back on the left there. I don't know if I can get over there, but I, I'm going to try and go straight here, straight through to the other trail that goes along the road there. Wow, this is quite the root system, man. I'm standing up on top of a root system here, and it's uh, uh, about eight, nine feet off the ground right now. <laughs> wow, some of them are still just leaning here. Eh? Yeah, this would be a pretty dangerous place to stay in a storm. Ah, oh, there's porcupines in here. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, eh? That's weird, my camera's all blurry today. I'm gonna try and fix this. Right on, man. Oh, 